Erwin Sieben of Macklin, Saskatchewan has over 30 years of experience as a carpenter, and before that he worked as a farm machinery mechanic. When it comes to managing grass and weed growth in and around his family's large rural yard, he was never satisfied with the performance of commercially available equipment. He then got to work and designed a unit he calls LIMBA, or Lateral Implement Movement Boom Attachment. Basically, it's just the arm LIMBA that it helps us extend out or reach out to places we can't really get or don't want to be at. It keeps us safe and uh, we can actually do a faster and better job than we can uh, any other way with this arm. Right now, Sieben has the Limba arm mounted on a skid steer and attached to a 72-inch mower deck. One of the main advantages of using the Limba is that it allows them to keep the skid steer on level ground while mowing ditches. Well, first of all, you go along and you make your shoulder pass, which would be on the flat, so you have your skid steer where you know it's flat, put your mower out a little ways so that you can get down and see where the shoulder of the road breaks. Then the second pass, you can go along there and you can angle it down and keeping your one uh, wheel from the skid steer on your shoulder. That way your skid steer is pretty well level all the time. You, can, you know where you're starting to get into your angle. Sieben can build the limba to shift to one side only or to go in both directions. The design of the system keeps the skid steer away from the area where the mower is working. Currently we're using rollers in, the, in some tracks so that we can laterally shift that mower from side to side. Uh, these rails are basically moved through chain drive and an orbital motor. This orbital motor has a brake in it so that when you position it, it can't work its way back and forth. The limba itself can tilt up to an angle of about 30 degrees. Combined with the flotation capability of the mower, Sieben figures this allows for a total tilt of close to 45 degrees. All the forks and the pin do is push the mower and it can float freely in between there. And the chains only are on the front to pick it up and to control the front and back levelness of the mower as you're cutting or put the mower at whatever angle you so desire. The limba attaches to the skid steer with a universal mounting plate. They'll all come and pick it up. They universally adapt. Uh, it's a pretty standard plate right there. And that's where I mounted my beam, main beam too, which is a four by six here, which has a big pivot pit in here to hold the load. Sieben is using a 72-inch Bueller Farm King mower deck, which originally came with a gearbox, a drive line, and a three-point hitch assembly. He removed all that and put in a high-flow orbit motor rated at 30 gallons per minute before hooking up the mower to the limba. Once we had it stripped down, we attached it with a two-by-two two of uh, steel there and brought arms up and over. Now the reason we had to bring them up is because we needed to maintain that flotation as we were cutting because of soil conditions and uh, implements moving bobbing back and forth. In addition to working on roadsides and ditches, Sieben told us the limba is especially useful for mowing in and around shelter belts. Since he's using a skid steer, he doesn't have to worry about getting hit in the face by tree branches. I was going to let it go back in the grass, but we had some bad weeds that other than spraying them all the time, we couldn't control them. So basically, one guy said, you mow them hard for a few years. And uh, to reach in now to all these trees, I knew I needed to come up with a different idea than anything that I could find on the market. Sieben originally built the limba for cutting grass, but has discovered it can be used on hedges as well. He does admit, however, that a mower isn't the ideal attachment for this job. It, can, it will cut them, but it doesn't really work good. We are working on another attachment right now for more for shrub brush and small tree cutting or trimming hedges and uh, orchards as well. We've had a lot of requests for or people interested in orchards, and I didn't know there was that many in Saskatchewan, but uh, there is a pile of them, and they're all looking for an easy way to prune their orchards. The Limba unit is mounted on a skid steer, but Sieben says it can also be used on a front-end loader. 
You know, thing for front end loaders that would change is your tab, the way it mounts to your front end loader. You wouldn't have a universal mounting plate because most of them are a lot different. And then you'd go with a separate hydro, uh, electrical control box rather than be able to use the switches on your joysticks here. Uh, also, it can be mounted on, we're looking at in a year or so, of possibly putting them on three point hitches as well. The Limba itself weighs just under 1,000 pounds. At the time of our visit, a Limba equipped with a mower like this one was selling for about $16,000. Seaman told us the Limba could be hooked up to a variety of attachments, anything from a rototiller to a blade to a power rake.